paying your son's school fees this way? I'm, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be like, why am I paying so much for my son's school fees when he says fish has fingers? <laughs> Welcome to Fact or Fishy with the one and only Sea Harvest, where we'll be unpacking some frequently asked questions and myths with the help of an expert. It could be two, it could be ten, who knows, but I do know that I'm Devin, your captain, bringing you the facts from the sea for you to see. In this video, we are going to get into the ins and outs of fish fingers and fish steaks. Yes, I said steaks. Huh? You know what's at stake? This. From what age did you start eating fish fingers? I was five. Yes. Now I want to know from you. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Your favorite crispy fish fingers and battered fillets. What's in them? When it comes to fish fingers and battered fillets, we go way back. These have been satisfying hungry stomachs for decades. We know how good they taste. Now let's dive into what's inside. Let's see what our experts had to say. Wait, hold up. Before we check in with the experts, let's ask the public some easy general knowledge questions around fish. Come, let's go. You need to tell me if it's fat or fishy. Okay. Eating fish causes high cholesterol. That's fishy. That's fishy. Can't be true. Why? It's a white meat, it's lean. Can't be. Fact, I would think. They're quite fatty. Fishy. Big quantity. Lot. Eating a lot of fish will cause high cholesterol. Oh, if you eat a lot of anything, you're gonna die. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna say then, fact, if you eat too much fish, you'll get high cholesterol. Eating fish causes high cholesterol. That's a lie. Yeah, that's, that's so fishy. fishy. Is that so fishy? Yeah, yeah. it's healthy fish. It's healthy fat, actually, yeah. Any vitamin that you know of that comes Omega out of the Omega 3. Oh, look at you guys, stop showing off here. <laughs> False. Fish gives you brains. Ooh, look at you. You, got, you can see you ate a lot of fish. You're smart, <laughs> it's, uh, you're smart. Man, these answers. Nah, let's get back to studio. With over 50,000 followers on Instagram, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for the one and only Fems. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Welcome to Fact or Fishy with Sea Harvest. Finally, we get to chat. Now, I've got so many questions that I'd like to debunk, right? The first question I have for you, right? And I'm going to tell you this already now. I asked my son this question. And he said, Dad, it's from the fish fingers. I want to know from you, what, from what part of the fish is fish fingers made of? If you didn't already know, it's time to let your son know that they are actually made from the white meat, the fillety part of a big fat hake. I love fish fingers because it's made of the best part of the hake. Oh wow, look at see already you know, you, you just know it's so easy and so simple. I'm gonna actually- Just send your son's school fees this way. I'm, you know what, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be like, why am I paying so much for my son's school fees when he says fish has fingers? Ha! Anyways, let's move on to the next question. What kind of fish is commonly used to create fish finger meat? It's hake. For sure, for sure. Nice big, when you go and see those big hakes and you go to the fishery, that's what's in fish fingers. Good, look at you. You're just giving me the answers, girl. You just know your thing. Now the next question. I'm, I'm, might, it might be a tricky one. I'm going to literally just come at you. What is haddock? Haddock is the funny one. Originally, haddock is like, it used to be imported into South Africa from overseas, like fish somewhere in the North Atlantic, like when you watch the deadliest catch and stuff, right? But then I read the box, and the box says that it's just smoked, brined, hake, cape hake. A haddock is a cape hake. You are teaching me something, I need to read the box. I mean, that's what foodie influencers do, they read the box. The next question I have for you is, what kind of fish is used to create fish steaks? It's actually made of hake. And I love buying the portions that are already ready, especially the sea harvest one, because it makes a delicious fish curry. And this is why I'm interviewing, I'm literally just absorbing. I'm just, get this word, I'm, I'm feeding myself with your information here. Now, uh, if one is scared to cook fish, uh, what can you do to make it easier? So sometimes I get my daughter to cook for me and she doesn't like the feeling like, you know, because if, if it's a fresh fish, she can feel a bit slimy. So the best thing is when you have frozen fish. 
because you take it out, pop it straight in as you cook. And if you're really, really like really lazy, buy the crumbed one. It's delicious and it's super easy to cook with. Any meals that you recommend with that? Like uh, if, if easy meals that, that's easy to cook? I make this thing sometimes with fish fingers. It's like a, like a bougie bowl. So you can even fry or air fry your fish fingers and then just chop it into little pieces, put it in a little bougie bowl with a little bit of coleslaw, a little bit of spicy rice. It looks so cool, but it's fish fingers. I love it, I love it, I love it. Also, a frozen veg as well. McCain does it, it works. I've had it before, amazing. Now the last question I have for you is, what do you love to do with your frozen fish steaks? So my frozen fish steaks, what the really easiest, easiest fish curry ever is when I cook everything already in my pot. And then just when I need the fish, because fish doesn't take long to cook. Even if it's frozen, it doesn't take that long to do. Unpackage each one, pop it into my curry. 15 minutes later, I'm serving. Like it's the best, easiest, easiest thing. I love, love it. I'm gonna definitely get you either in my kitchen or I'm coming over to yours. Thank you so much for joining us here on Fact or Fishy with Sea Harvest. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the one and only Fems. Thank you for having me, I had so much fun. What an inside scoop. Now we know the ins and outs of our favorite crispy treats. If you found this video useful, browse through more fact or fishy videos on our playlist. But before you go, it's time for a little Did You Know? I know, I'm gonna let you know what's going on. Did you know that the very first fish finger was made on the 26th of September in 1955 in Britain? I thought it was South African, but we'll let the Brits have this one. All that fish finger talk got me a little hungry. Check out our Make It Hake videos and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel.